Welcome to the Baseball Brouhaha. It's your place for obscure baseball trivia. I'm Aaron. That's my twin brother, Adam. Joining us today for a cup of coffee. We're going to put our baseball knowledge to the test. Adam, what do we have today? We're turning back the clock today. Okay. I should have brought... Oh, my background, we got the old-timers mitt there. But yeah, we should put on the old uniform. We're going back to the 1930s. World Series question. Okay. We have a list of four teams. Mm -hmm. Only one of these won a World Series in the 1930s. We're trying to decide which team that is. Okay. All right. We have the Brooklyn Dodgers, Philadelphia Phillies, Cincinnati Reds, or the Detroit Tigers. Yeah. Interesting list. They're all major league teams, so um, let's. <laughs> so there are there's when I think of the 1930s, uh, my memory is not real clear. I know we had um, the St. Louis Cardinals, the the uh, Gas House Gang, um, won a couple, and beyond that, um, I'm I'm kind of guessing by golly right here, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I went um, using my uh, uh, using my probability machine, knowing that I've got a one in four chance. I went ahead and I went Phillies. So could you could you? Uh, uh, I want to learn about your insights. I want to know your uh, process. Uh, did you did you have a more developed process than I did? Uh, I wish that would have, <laughs> that would have been fun. Uh, no, you know, I, <clears throat> I was trying to think about teams that were good back then. I mean, you mentioned the Cardinals, the Yankees had a good run in there in the thirties. Mm -hmm. Um, but you know, I, I remember the Dodgers being good. I went with the Dodgers because I remember them being good. I, I don't, but you know who knows like the 1930s that's 10 years that's a, that's a long stretch any team could have been good or not good for a certain number of years and yeah, so I mean, this takes one one year to yeah <laughs> to win it so i mean yeah so that's right i mean i wouldn't have been surprised if the question was which one of these teams did not win a world series in the 1930s so i don't know yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, so, well, big so, yeah. so you're the Phillies. I'm, I'm the Phillies. Dodgers. Our correct answer is the Tigers. What are you going to do? Which, yeah. I mean, you wouldn't have guessed. Yeah. Because they weren't known as being a very good team. Mm -hmm. um, they were, in fact, I learned the first team ever to lose three consecutive World Series. Okay. 1907, eight, and nine. Okay. Yep. Um, but they but they did win the World Series. They beat the Cubs in six games in 1935. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And, and you know, we know the, the Cubs futility that began in 1907, 1908. Yeah. Yeah. The so Cubs, while they did not lose three in a row in the thirties, they did lose three world series in the 1930s in 1932, yeah. 35 and 38. Wow. Yeah. So the, the thing that's funny to me about this, I was thinking about this. So um, in the 1930s, there were 16 teams. Mm -hmm. So you had a quarter of the teams not making the world series, not, not winning the world series uh here on this list so it's a bit of a a list of futility here uh, yeah you know, congratulations to the 1935 uh detroit tigers here but the rest of it man it's it's tough sledding it is so um well i don't know i mean so thinking about current times i mean in terms of world series futility you know we happen to cheer for a team hasn't even been to the World Series. You know, That's right. You know, it's a relatively short history across um, <clears throat> across the landscape. But when you consider 
every other expansion team that has come into being uh, since the Seattle Mariners <laughs> has made it to the World Series and won one, one or two. Um, it's it's a rough uh, it's a rough go for us, you know. But uh, what do you think? Do you have any uh, World Series futility uh, comments you want to add here? Yeah, well, I think about I've been following the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks with Corbin Carroll this year and have been uh, reminded in a painful way mm-hmm. that the Diamondbacks not only appeared in, but won the 2001 World Series when their franchise was all of four years old. <laughs> And here we are in the, <laughs> in the 46th year of Mariners baseball. Yeah. And yet to make even an appearance um, and haven't gotten all that close. They've made it to the ALCS a couple of times, but it's they didn't even push it to game seven in yeah. either of those. Yeah. I mean, and the thing that's crazy about that, too, is you think about the mid 90s Seattle Mariners. Um, and you know they played in a bandbox and in, in the kingdom, um, but you have you literally in ninety five, six, seven, eight, you had four Hall of Fame caliber players. So Alex Rodriguez is not in the Hall of Fame, but his statistics would put him in the Hall of Fame. You had four uh, Hall of Fame caliber players on the same team. And you didn't make the World Series. It's just, it's tough. I mean, it shows how, um, you know, baseball requires more than just even four, but particularly one. I mean, even more recently, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani for the Angels. I mean, two of the best players to ever play playing on the same team. They haven't even had a winning record in seven years. Um, So it goes to show how difficult it is. Well, and and what's, as a Mariners fan, especially painful, that year that the Diamondbacks won 2001, the Mariners tied the major league record for most wins in a season with 116. Yeah. Still, no World Series. No World Series, not even an appearance, my friends. So, Well, that's going to do it for us today, the baseball brouhaha. Thanks for joining us for a cup of coffee. Add your comments below. Love to hear from you. Subscribe, like, join us tomorrow. We'll be here. Hope to see you then. See you tomorrow.